So much has already been said about how great of a player Zlatan Ibrahimovic is. But here's something from ESPN. So according to ESPN, Zlatan is good in the air, quick, tall, strong, and agile. He plays well with his back to goal and boasts some of the best finishing, vision, passing, and ball control around. So it looks like I have quite a bit to cover today. So Zlatan is considered one of the best players of his generation, in particular one of the best strikers and most complete strikers of all time. So today we're going to go over what makes Zlatan so good and what you can learn from him. Now remember, this is part one of two. In part two, we will actually go over some of the demonstrations um, at the field and I'll give you some drills that you can use in order to improve some of the areas that we go over today. Zlatan is an incredibly skillful player, especially for a player of his stature. Usually when you find players of Zlatan's stature, um, they are usually just target men that aren't too great with their feet. But with Zlatan, this isn't the case. Not only is he one of the most skillful players um, of his size, but he's also one of the most skillful players and most unique players in all of world football. He has fantastic technique with the ball on the ground, he has very quick feet, and he can seemingly improvise and basically do anything that pops into his head. He's an incredibly innovative player when it comes to his skills. And this is evident if you watch highlights of him or just watch him play, it seems like sometimes he's just making it up as he goes. But because he's so skillful and so good at improvising, he usually pulls it off. Now a way to get better with the ball at your feet is to simply have the ball at your feet very often. Try and get the ball at your feet whenever you can, not just at your practices and not just when you're trading individually. Even when you're in your house and you're walking the places, try and have the ball at your feet as often as possible because if you're not comfortable with the ball at your feet, you're never going to really be able to expand your skills. You're going to be very limited when it comes to your skills with the ball at your feet. And drills like the Ronaldo box, regular cone drills, and spontaneous dribbling will definitely help you with your ability with the ball at your feet. Do these drills often to start seeing improvements in that area. And I will of course demonstrate a few of these drills in part two. Now just because I said that Zlatan isn't your typical big player, that doesn't mean he can't do what other target men can. In fact, he's really good at being a target man when he wants to be. Actually, he's probably one of the best around. That's what makes him such a unique player. He has the ability to do what other target men can't, but then he also can do what the target men can do. And sometimes he does it better than them. I actually remember him at the Euros a few years back when uh, Sweden was playing England. And I remember the England defenders trying to, you know, nudge him off the ball or get the ball off him. And they were literally just bouncing off him. I remember Lescott going in to try and shoulder charge him. He tried and literally bounced off of Zlatan. He's absolutely fantastic at shielding the ball, holding it up, and waiting for his teammates to join the attack or turning and facing the defender after he's held them off. He also links up with his teammates very, very well. He'll either hold off the ball long enough for his teammates to join the attack, or he'll use one of his clever improvised flicks to play them in on goal or give them space somewhere else on the field. Now, and able to hold the ball up and, you know, do clever flicks and do all those things a target man is supposed to be able to do, um, there is a lot that goes into it. But the one thing I want you to think about for now is vision. Sure, there's more that goes into it, like Zlatan's physicality also helps him with doing this. But it's his ability to know where everybody on the pitch is that allows him to hold the ball up and then play a teammate in or to flick it to a teammate first time. It's because he has good vision and knows where his teammates are. Now Zlatan is undoubtedly one of the best goal scorers in the history of football. You know, not only can he score stunning acrobatic goals, free kicks, and amazing 30-yard bombs into the upper corner or in off the post, but he's also one of the best finishers that football has ever seen. He has that ability to hold his nerve and keep a calm head in front of goal, meaning that he scores more chances than he misses. Now because of Zlatan's flair, unpredictability, and sometimes insane antics, I think his finishing kind of goes under the radar a little bit. I think he's a bit underrated in this area. For me, he's one of the best goal scorers and finishers in the world, if not perhaps ever, to play the game. Now, the biggest advice I can give you to improving this area is to work on your composure or calmness in front of goal. Now, Zlatan has this in spades, which is evident in him being the penalty taker for most of the teams he's played for. He keeps a calm head in front of goal, he doesn't panic, and he puts the ball into the net. 
Now this next one I want to touch on only pretty briefly, but I needed to include it in here because it's so important. Zlatan has out of this world ball control. He is able to control the ball on the ground, out of the air, and with pretty much any part of his body with relative ease. This allows him to score more goals, set up more teammates, and generally play better overall. Never underestimate how important ball control is. It is, to me, the most fundamental skill with the ball in the whole sport. Take a look at the video that comes across the screen now, which will give you a 10 minute ball control routine you can do often in order to improve this area of your game. Now Zlatan is evidently a very, very confident footballer, but I want to point something out to you. Many will say that he's actually arrogant, and perhaps he is a little, but let's not confuse confidence with arrogance. An arrogant person is generally a person who's all talk or has nothing to back up what they're saying. They're the kind of players or people who talk crap, believe they're the best at everything, but really have nothing to back that up. Zlatan, on the other hand, is incredibly confident in his ability because he's worked hard to gain that ability. And with that confidence, it helps him play even better. And when you think about it, you need that level of confidence in order to be a top, top player. Now, don't get it confused. Messi and Ronaldo have that same level of confidence. And Messi's a good example because Messi isn't in your face about it. But I guarantee you that inside of him, like in his head, he believes, I am one of the best. I am amazing. I am really good. Now, that doesn't prevent him from working hard to get better, but you have to have that belief in your own ability if you want to perform well. And just to give you an example of this, no player that doesn't believe they're one of the best players in the world even attempts that bicycle kick that Zlatan scored against England. But because Zlatan has such belief in his ability, in his head he believes he can score that goal. And if someone told you that before the game happened and said, I bet you Zlatan could score a 30-yard mm, bicycle kick or 40-yard bicycle kick, you'd go, no way. But inside Zlatan's head, he knows and believes he can do it, which allows him to actually pull off the crazy goals that he does pull off. Basically, Zlatan backs up the talks, the taunts, and all the things he says with hard work and actual ability. He's not really as arrogant as people think. He's just incredibly, incredibly confident in his ability to perform. And this is a good lesson. Don't let other people prevent you from being confident by labeling it as arrogance. Now, you don't need to go as far as Latin and be very outwardly confident. You can be inwardly confident, but you need to have belief in your own ability or it's going to be a very huge struggle for you to improve. Okay, so this last one I know I cover for most of the players I go over, but with Zlatan, I definitely have to mention it. And it's Zlatan is incredibly unpredictable. And what I mean is he has the ability to practically do anything he wants with the ball, which makes him a very dangerous player for defenders because it's very hard to read what he's going to do. He doesn't do the same thing every time and he's not a one trick pony. I honestly couldn't imagine defending him because it must be an absolute nightmare. Now, if you want to be unpredictable, it means you have to add more dimensions to your game. If you are a one dimensional player, you're easy to read because a defender will see a pattern of you doing the same thing over and over and over again and be able to anticipate that next time. But if you're a multi-dimensional player with many skills, you know, good ball control, good vision, and the ability to do many different things, it becomes much more difficult for a defender to get a read on you. You know, you could just as easily play a simple pass to your teammate as you could beat someone one-on-one -on -one and score a goal. But if you're a one-trick pony or a one-dimensional player, then a defender doesn't have to worry too much about you because they already know what you're going to do ahead of time. All right, guys, so that's how to play football like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Remember, this is part one of two, and all the part ones we go over and talk about what makes the players so good. And in part two, we actually give you demonstrations and drills that you could do in order to improve the areas we talked about in this video. Okay, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it on social media with your friends and teammates. Now, if you'd like to watch some more how to play like videos, take a look at the bottom left thumbnail, which is how to play like Mares. And if you want to learn how to play like Dybala, click on the one in the bottom right. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Simply Soccer Pro, and I'll talk to you on the next video.